Hi Taurus, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for all Taurus. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we are, already coming to the end of 2022. I appreciate y'all a great deal. Where has the year gone? But I'm glad we've been here together. And if you're new here, welcome. I post new readings on Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days. You can watch a new reading. Fridays are always a general reading. So today's reading will bring in aspects of money, career, love, and everything in between. Mondays are a different style every week. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what advice do you have for Taurus? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What does Taurus need to know, please, for the best? Oops, let's let that come out. And highest of good of all concerned with Taurus. Messages for Taurus, please. Okay, I did just see. I like to take a peek when they come flying out. That's significant because I don't have a lot of jumping cards. So when it does happen, it's an extra layer. All right, we've got the fool, the sun, that's glorious, the justice, king of wands, knight of wands, the eight of cups, the moon, my gosh, and the four of wands. What a beautiful energy you're attracting. You've got a beautiful new cycle here. We've got four major arcana. We've got Libra, Pisces, Leo here. We've got but I, I do feel like they're, you've got this like path to the heart, something about the hero's journey, because you have it twice. You have it with the Fool and that Eight of Cups, plus we have the Nine here, one of the lottery tickets of the tarot. You're going to be feeling this energy. I think this is going to carry you well into 2023. So get ready because it's on, and it's, it's going to be something where you're going to feel like you cannot catch a struggle in this. Now, I do feel like in a relationship, if you haven't met somebody, it's going to move fast. You have somebody coming in here who I feel like they feel like you are a breath of fresh air, Taurus, whatever this is. And I do feel like, too, they have I feel like they've had some challenging relationships and they're done with the games. They're done playing games. And it, I don't necessarily feel like they were the, the catalyst to the games, but I just feel like they want something straightforward. And honestly, they just want to love. They want to be in a relationship that's authentic, that's genuine, and that's real love. Now, some of you, you have a big transition coming in here. And I do feel like it's a huge relief if you're changing jobs too, um, especially with career, this is great. But it's also getting recognized and noticed. So for some of you, you may even have recruiters coming towards you. And even if you're not going to leave and go anywhere else, I feel like it's flattering nonetheless. So the fool comes in to tell you that there is a big transition, but with this energy of zero, it's the field of pure potentiality. Anything is possible for you here, okay? This, like I said, is the hero's journey. It's your soul, and this comes in to tell you your soul is always victorious. Take that leap of faith. If you've been kicking around an idea, it's time for you to go. Now, I do think that this is always interesting because the moon comes before the sun, right? And so the sun is featured here three different times. That's very important. You actually have it four with this. You know, there's not many suns in the tarot. The moon always mirrors the sun, but here it is four different times. And so when you see that, they're telling you there's a brand new beginning, a new cycle that brings in prosperity, abundance. It really is great. And so I love seeing these two together though. So I do feel like it, they say dominate, whatever that is, Taurus, I feel like that's going to be you. And you know, there may have been a setback along the way, somewhere where you came into an impasse is what I'm getting. It feels more career where you just knew that things were not going to expand for you if you stayed or if you're in that right now, because you have it with the four of wands too. It's telling you to move forward here. And if it's a move, a physical move where you go, no, I've been in this dead end city I just don't like it here anymore. I feel I almost get like a dirty feeling, like a grimy feeling. Like it just doesn't fit you anymore. And I do feel like wherever you go, it's going to be this, right? It's going to be that adventure and the vision quest and that feeling of enthusiasm and just a robust energy that comes in. This is trust, enthusiasm, new beginnings, and it's absolutely great. So the sun comes in and with the sun, you stand in the sunlight of the spirit here with this energy of the sun, it's very high vibrational. So again, 
Things move quickly, but allow it to be so. Don't hold yourself back thinking that can't be for me. Of course it can be for you. You manifested this reading. This is gains, riches. I do feel like in a job change or even a, a physical move, you're going to have more financial opportunities than you have. I just keep getting this feeling, this sense of an urgency almost, but it feels in a deep level, like a soul level saying your next move is here. Now, in terms of relationships, though, whether it's work or love, it's you're attracting matches. It's synergy. And so this is the kind of energy, too, where you're very open. And so you're going to find, especially with the Fool being here and the Nine of Cups, you're going to attract people who want to talk to you, confide in you, because you don't have any judgment. You've released all the resistance and people can feel that. They feel it in your vibration as soon as you walk into the into the room. And so it's a new energy that in some ways it's a regeneration. It's like a, a reconnection at that soul level. People feel that off of you because they don't get the crap and the layers of the ego and the mind. And so again, watch out because they're going to be lining up to talk to you. Um, you might find too, if you have some kind of a job where it ends up like you need a lot of phone contact, some of these people, it's going to be tough to keep the calls under 45 minutes. I just get this thing where they keep, hey, wait, one more thing, that sort of stuff. But with the energy of justice, this is very much about equilibrium and balance. You get what you are. And so this, you are the cause, everything around you is the effect, Taurus. I feel like you're going to have a commanding presence too. Now, I know this is kind of odd, but I do feel like for somebody, if there's a wedding coming in with that four of wands, I get somebody does a justice of the peace wedding first and then does a second wedding where you have your friends and whatever. Or if you do an elopement, I still get that because there's speed here where all of a sudden it's like, yep, two hearts, we've connected, we're doing it. And then you go back around to kind of, you know, host the party and all that sort of thing. But with this justice energy, you're attracting an absolute match. You're attracting, this is really the absolute honest truth too. So I also feel like it's part of you attracting your own truth. And so for some, in terms of a job change, this is part of the, the change agent. Just feeling like I just can't keep doing it like this anymore. But like I said, with change is going to bring more. So the King of Wands, this is Wands are great for career expansion. And this is like head of your department material. This is also too somebody who leads by example. So if you are supervising people in any way, they're going to want to work for you. Now you may feel at times that they look to you for a lot of input, feedback, advice that keeps coming in. And at times you might be slightly annoyed. Like, look, I'm not the panacea to everyone's problems here. But I do feel like try to take it as flattery because you're attracting it. So, I mean, you, the the flip side is that of that is people telling you what to do and you know you don't like that. So know that you've manifested it, but this is the upwardly mobile. So you're going to have really dynamic energy here too, engaging energy, and there's charisma. Now, I also get that this is coming towards you. And with that Knight of Wands, there's a very much a passionate energy connecting with you. And it is, like I said, it's that, that there's a flirtatious energy around you, but it's very charismatic. Even though I do get that whoever it is, is going to be honest and integrous and very much loyal, especially to that king is very loyal. Um, I do get with this, this Knight of Wands, it happens, seems to happen in a, a whirlwind. All right. So if you're single, I don't see it lasting for not for long. But others of you too, if you're already in a partnership, you may make a leap of faith together. You may make a big change. I get a big geographical change where it just seems like, let's do this. And it might come as a shock to your family, but you're going to be on an adventure. And if you move somewhere, like even I get somewhere like in the mountains, um, but it feels like a city to me. It doesn't feel like it's rural as much as it's just not grimy because I keep seeing this green and lush and very beautiful surroundings. I do feel like you could end up, if you if you leave family, move away from family, like you could eventually return to them, but maybe just not quite the same setting if it's grimy, okay? I don't know why I keep getting that, but somebody's over that. So with this Eight of Cups, here's your hero's journey. So what you're leaving is not bad, okay? But you want more. Your heart will whisper the truth and allow yourself to go there because your heart will keep communicating with the universe and sometimes we get it in a way that we don't like because we keep asking for it. And then we go, well, I didn't want 
a divorce. I just wanted more money. You know, it's that kind of thing where we have to be a little careful. So no, especially with the moon being here, you take one step, the universe takes two. And so with this energy too, everything comes from source. So I do feel like you're being divinely guided, but I also feel like too, you've got good communication coming in. Very clear, direct communication. So if it is with a, um, a relationship, I do feel like you're on the same page. It's two people who can who can communicate and set their intentions together. Maybe not quite in the way of like you're getting out a crystal altar together and running around with sage, but I do get it like you have similar visions. You have a, and that er, that excitement, this, this thing about taking an adventure together, I definitely get that very loud and clear. So these yods or yads of the tarot, these can symbolize the next, the number 16 is important here. It might be the next 16 weeks, which I know starts to seem like a long time. But when we're talking and we start to say, well, we're talking about, you know, March, April-ish, that may not be that far away at all. So the four of wands I mentioned for some of you, it is an actual wedding because I definitely see that. However, for others of you, it's a, I, I said you have a stepping stone in career. This is law of attraction energy. So you are a magnet right now, Taurus. Mind your thoughts, but especially your feelings because your feelings are such a powerful tool in all of this. So be in this energy, this celebration, no matter where you are, who you're with or what you're doing, be in that energy of saying, I am receiving this. I'm receiving the messages from the universe and my heart's desires. So I love this reading. It can't get any better. It doesn't get any better than this. That's another question. I forget right now where it comes from. It might be the Sedona method or Lester Levinson. How can it get any better than this? That may be a question too you find yourself asking. How can it get any better than this for Taurus, please? What advice do you have for Taurus? Ask for help from others. So for some of you, you do have loyal companions here. There may be something about that. Ask your angels, okay? So ask and they'll tell you. We've got communicate clearly because the universe always hears your heart and responds to that vibration of your heart. Now they say not the right time with this, which is not a card that frequently comes up. So there may be something, because you do have to, making that leap of faith, there may be some other communication that you get to, you're going to love this, not the right time, but don't stop. Don't you like that? So it may be what they're telling you is keep the planning and the preparation so we don't want to impulsively, you know, walk off the job, but keep the planning going because the right stuff is here. I love you, Taurus, and I'll be back again soon.